Song mode. Hello friends, welcome back to the Matt Greer Music Channel. I'm your host Matt, and today I want to talk about the new song mode that just came out for the Electron, Dicatone, Dicatact, and Syntact. Are we calling that group Tax, or are we call them Digis still? Quite a surprise. I think there were some rumors that we might get that in October, uh, and they surprised us all and dropped it a little bit early here at the end of September. Thank you very much, Electron. Um, now, I was surprised in general because I honestly assumed that this feature would never be available for these um, mid-tier machines that Electron put out. Now, today I just wanted to kind of get into my thoughts on using song mode and overview how I'm using it with a track that I've been working on and uh, yeah just hopefully you find this interesting and maybe if you're trying to get your head around song mode or why you even want to you know, maybe use it this might be helpful to you so if it is stick around all right so let's get into it here if you don't know already to access song mode after you've updated the firmware that is of course uh, you want to uh, just hit the three dots which I think makes a lot of sense because three dots kind of looks like multiple patterns being chained together so the iconography there makes sense but you would hit that um, and you can turn song mode on or off see it says it's off now I already had it on but I'm gonna hit it again turn it yes song mode on now Hit this button one more time i can use the arrows and it tells you what the arrows mean on the screen there i can boop hit edit and here i have a big old list with a bunch of patterns in it i think i've got you've got 23 different events tied to this track um, and it comes out a little over five minutes is what those 23 events translate into um, <clears throat> some basic overview here you can name each of these sections, I can call that an intro, which is what it is, so I'll leave it as that. Um, as an intro, it's the first pattern, which makes sense, so I can change the pattern. Here, though, I've got A01. Uh, it shows you your BPM, it shows you the step length of that pattern. You can set how many times you want it to loop before changing to the next one. And then, most interestingly, at least to me, is you have a set of mute controls and I inadvertently messed up my mutes there by messing with the pattern number, but uh, you can change the mutes so that you can have the same pattern do different sections um, automatically, which is very cool. Uh, it's a really nice feature. The UI is very simple to use. And uh, I guess in summation for this section here, I just want to say that I like it. I like the way they've implemented it. I like how it looks. I like how it functions. I was able to figure all of this out without even glancing at a tutorial or uh, an instruction manual. So that's pretty intuitive in my book. So with that, you've got your list of patterns here. Um, when I tell it to play, it's going to play each pattern in succession. So I'll just kind of show you real quick so you can see how this moves. Let's get here. Let's tell it to start there. And a little bit of an intro there. You can see your count up at the top right. Now let's switch to the second pattern. Still the same pattern just a change in the mutes which are enabled disabled uh, for the next the next section so that's you get an idea of, of how that works uh, I'm not gonna play the whole track right now because I actually want to save that for the end because I like this track and I want to I want to share it as a whole piece of music um, <clears throat> But yeah, very, very cool. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for this. Now, use cases, uh, I suppose if you were on stage and you wanted to automate longer sections of a background track uh, and maybe sing over it, uh, play lead synthesizers over it, play drums over it, uh, whatever instrumentation that you want to add, this now kind of takes your hands away from the device and allows it to do those changes on its own. It frankly spurred me to use my Digitect 
in a much deeper fashion than I ever have before. I've I've always kind of treated this thing more like a drum machine, honestly. Not a lot of pattern variations. Uh, I sort of just set up my beats and let it roll. Used mutes and unmutes to kind of build and, and, and drop down on a track, but I never really got into building a bunch of different, uh, quite different patterns and, and structuring them all together into a single song. So this is probably the most complete composition I've ever made on this device and song mode was definitely a, a spur for me to jump in and do that so it uh, it it inspired me so for that song mode is great all right guys that's all I have to say today thank you for watching if you have questions let me know in the comments um, and I will talk to you all later oh.